In the kitchen, good knife skills are absolutely essential to have a good cooking experience. I have some fantastic hints and tips on how to slice, dice and prepare your fresh produce. But before we get started, slide a wet J-cloth under your chopping board to prevent it from slipping and sliding. Click onto any of these fresh items and I'll show you how to slice, dice and prepare them. Click on butternut squash, really tricky vegetable to shop but I'll show you how. Fresh mint, be careful with this really delicate herb. Fresh ginger, absolutely essential for all your Asian cooking. Carrots, I'm going to show you how to julienne these. Onions, one of the most basic knife skills but the most important. Butternut squash, bit of a challenge, but we'll show you how to conquer it. So grab a really sharp peeler, lay your butternut squash down flat and peel away. Then grab a clean tea towel and wrap it around the wet exposed part of the butternut. And this will give you a really good grip. No slipping and sliding. Grab your sharp knife and between where the bulbous part is and the solid fleshy bit, you'll just have to guess this one very firmly sliced down. You can see all those little pips. Soup spoon will deal with these and just hollow it out and do the same with the base. So nice and clean. So slice off the stem. I'm not going to use that. And then for this part, lay it down flat. And then slice it into long pieces. Oops. then into a dice. You're trying to get everything uniformly diced. Same with the other side. So same size dice. So those dice should be pretty much uniform. Pull the board towards you, grab your bowl and in we go. The bulbous part, a couple of things. You can either stuff it with nice things, wrap it in foil and bake it, or we can cut it into wedges. Just those extra little bits on the end. Now you can either leave them in wedges like this, or you can dice them up to more or less match the other butternut squash. But the idea is to get everything uniform. They do kind of look nice like this, so there's no harm in coating them with olive oil, salt and pepper, and just roasting them off as is. And voila, there we go, perfectly diced and peeled butternut squash. Click onto any of these fresh items and I'll show you how to slice, dice and prepare them. Click on butternut squash, really tricky vegetable to shop, but I'll show you how. Fresh mint, be careful with this really delicate herb. Fresh ginger, absolutely essential for all your Asian cooking. Carrots, I'm going to show you how to julienne these. Onions, one of the most basic knife skills but the most important. The onion. 
I'm going to show you how not to cry when chopping an onion. Start by pulling off the roots, you don't want those on your chopping board. Then grab a sharp serrated blade, perfect for smooth skin vegetables. Chop off the side where the stem would grow out of, discard that, and then through the middle of the root, you're going to divide the onion in half. Make sure not to slice either side of the root, right down through the middle is what you want. And then peel away any of the papery skin. If you're trying to dice an onion, you're trying to get all the little blocks evenly sliced and diced. So we're going to create some horizontal slices and then some vertical slices. But at no point are we going to slice through this area. That's going to be your handle. We're going to chop that separately. So start off by putting these knuckles on top of your onion, slicing through, and then stop. Can you see where I'm stopping there? I'm not going straight the way through. Another horizontal slice and then stop. Then we onto our little vertical slices. And the closer you get these, the finer your dice is going to be. There we go. So now you've got a little grid. That's what we're aiming for is a little grid. So we'll do that again. One horizontal, stop. Another horizontal, stop. Vertical, vertical, vertical. Okay, we've got our grid. And then you just slice down. Voila! And you've got your perfectly diced onion. Simple, easy, and you're not going to tear up. So this end little bit, you're just going to create a separate little grid and that's you done. Slice, slice, slice. And you'll see if you use a really sharp knife and you chop your onion properly, you're not going to tear up. And that's the real secret to not crying when you're chopping an onion. So pull your board towards you, bring your mise en place bowl underneath and slide your onion in. And there we go. A perfectly diced onion with no tears. Click onto any of these fresh items and I'll show you how to slice, dice and prepare them. Click on butternut squash. Really tricky vegetable to shop, but I'll show you how. Fresh mint. Be careful with this really delicate herb. Fresh ginger, absolutely essential for all your Asian cooking. Carrots, I'm going to show you how to julienne these. Onions, one of the most basic knife skills, but the most important. There's nothing quite like the smell of fresh mint. Okay, so what you want to do is pluck off the little leaves and layer them on top of one another. You want to be gentle because they're delicate little leaves and they bruise easily. Okay, so just stack them up gently. And now you are going to gently roll them into a cigar shape. Don't smush them. And now with your big sharp knife, you're going to be using this section of the knife and you're going to rock it against the board. And it's not going to leave the chopping board at any point. And then with your fingers, secure the mint, but make sure that you lead with your knuckles. Glide up, gradually moving to your left. And firmly chop down on the mint. Don't know if you can hear that noise. That is the noise of a very sharp knife, chiffonading mint. So chiffonading is a French culinary term that means to ribbon. So there's your little ribbons of fresh mint, perfectly chopped and no bruising. Click onto any of these fresh items and I'll show you how to slice, dice and prepare them. Click on butternut squash, really tricky vegetable to shop but I'll show you how. Fresh mint. Be careful with this really delicate herb. Fresh ginger, absolutely essential for all your Asian cooking. Carrots, I'm going to show you how to julienne these. Onions, one of the most basic knife skills but the most important. The 
good old carrot, but do you know how to chop it properly? So we're going to julienne this carrot, which means to slice into very thin matchsticks. So with a very sharp peeler, peel off the skin, just swivel it around in the palm of your hand, get rid of the skin. Now we're going to chop and tail it with a sharp knife. Now, to get our matchsticks the same length, you should measure a four finger width from the end of the carrot. There we go. And another four finger width, so that's superfluous for the matchstick. And do something with that. Now, we're going to square up our carrot into a rectangular shape. So, cut off one side, next side, flip over to the flat, other side, and then your final side. So, if you're just doing this at home, you can slice these guys up into little matchsticks. But it's not going to be perfectly symmetrical. But, you know, don't be wasteful either. But technically speaking, it needs to be as perfect as possible. So what you'll do is you'll slice off some sheets of the carrot. And then layer up two or three or four layers, whatever you're comfortable in doing. And then gently rock your knife across the carrots so that you julie them into very, very thin matchsticks. Don't know if you can see that. There we've got lovely, symmetrical, julienned carrots. Click onto any of these fresh items and I'll show you how to slice, dice and prepare them. Click on butternut squash. Really tricky vegetable to shop, but I'll show you how. Fresh mint, be careful with this really delicate herb. Fresh ginger, absolutely essential for all your Asian cooking. Carrots, I'm going to show you how to julienne these. Onions, one of the most basic knife skills but the most important. Fresh ginger, fiery and aromatic, much nicer than the dried spice. Okay, I want to julienne this ginger, so I'm just after that middle piece, because that'll be the easiest piece for me to chop. So let me snap off these other pieces. Now, don't let them go to waste. We can put them aside for a minute, and then that's sort of a rectangular shape. That's what I'm after. Take a teaspoon, okay, to peel it, and we're going to scrape the ginger, and that will get rid of the skin. It's so quick and easy. It really is. Magic. If I was just going to chop this up, I would just slice it into big pieces at this point. But I want to do something a little bit fancier. So I'm going to square up the ginger. And what that means is I'm going to shape it by chopping off all four sides so I can get a rectangular shape. Now these little bits won't be asymmetrical, but you can certainly slice them up into little matchsticks. There we go, nice and simple. Now for the really symmetrical slices, slice thin sheets of ginger. Oh, it's super juicy. You can hear that crunch. Now if it's not too wet, you can layer up two or three sheets on top of each other. If you layer them up too high, they can actually slip and slide a little bit for you and then rock your knife against the board. Lead with your knuckles so that you're not going to slice your fingers. And go slowly for that fourth, last slice. And there we have it. Perfectly julienned pieces of ginger. Now you can leave them as is and stir fry away. They'll be lovely and crunchy. Or if you want to dice them up at this point, just line them all up. You can see how I've squared them up again and then rocking your knife against the ginger and the board. Again, leading with your knuckles, you can chop up the ginger into tiny little pieces. Beautiful. Now, if you want to take it one step further, nestle the knife just above these knuckles, about a third of the way in on your blade, so there's a natural resting place there, and rock the knife back and forth. At no point is the knife completely leaving the chopping board. You can use it to scrape together the ginger. So 
So there we have it. We have our beautifully, finely, finely chopped fresh ginger and julienne ginger. Click onto any of these fresh items and I'll show you how to slice, dice and prepare them. Click on butternut squash. Really tricky vegetable to shop, but I'll show you how. Fresh mint. Be careful with this really delicate herb. Fresh ginger. Absolutely essential for all your Asian cooking. Carrots. I'm going to show you how to julienne these. Onions, one of the most basic knife skills, but the most important.